Hey, it's Alex Yao here with Remax Select Properties and YaoRealEstate.com. And this is your Real Estate Matters, April 2024. Yes. Yes, it's April already. Listings are up, sales are up, it's a spring market. But both have similar rates though, so depending on the neighborhood, it's still a relatively balanced market. A few things to note for sellers, pricing is the absolute key in this market to sell a property. Dreamers are left hanging with increased carrying costs, and there's not just no shortcuts to selling listings in this market. Everything has to be pinpoint accurate. And if it's not, you have to be responsive to what the market's telling you. After the open house, after a few showings, listen to feedback and see what you can do. Otherwise, you are just be wasting time and money. For buyers, there are more homes for sale now to choose from compared to maybe a couple of months ago. So be sure to do your homework on market values at today. So the value of it today, not tomorrow, not last year, today. And focus on the longer term if it's going to be your home. So focus not just on the house or condo itself, but also on the neighborhood, level of convenience, lifestyle, and if it's something you'll be happy with three to five years down the line. Question of the month that I got asked the most frequently was how do I sell my tenanted investment property? So with mortgage renewals approaching with higher interest rates, many investors are finding that the cash flow no longer makes sense. You might be in that boat. The new NDP bill that will be tabled will extend notice to the big tenancy for personal use from two months to four months. So that has to be factored into uh, the market that you're actually selling it if you're selling in the summer or later. So BC government says that this is to relieve rental pressure in the market that, you know, in the rental market, but it's actually going to do the complete opposite. But that, that's for another video. So if you're a landlord trying to sell your property, there are five key points to focus on. Number one, make sure you have a good relationship with your tenants so that they're cooperative to the process. Keep in mind, they have absolutely zero interest in you selling the property. In fact, it's likely not, their, not to their advantage at all, but their cooperation is something that you absolutely require to get top dollar. You want them to keep, a, keep the place neat and tidy, you want them to be flexible in showing times, etc. So keep that in mind, that's number one. Number two, Know your rights and options depending on whether the tenancy is a fixed term tenancy or a month to month tenancy. Now, these two are very different things and you need to market your property very differently due to timing, due to uh, rental income, due to the tenant's wishes and what they want to do. So make sure that you know the difference between these two and your marketing for, uh, for the sale of your property has to reflect that. That's number two. Number three, provide as many options as possible to the buyers to expand the market reach when you are selling the place. So again, this links to number two a little bit. So you need to know what your options are. You need to know what options you can give the buyers. Can they move in after they purchase the property? When can they move in? Uh, do they need to fix anything or do they need to renovate or do they you know, need to take over the tenancy perhaps? So you need to know exactly what the buyers are buying into to anticipate their needs. Number four, understand that you may have to spend a bit of money to refinish or refresh certain parts of the home. For example, you might need to fill in some holes in the walls when they have nails in there for their artwork or whatnot. You need to fix any damages, for example, or maybe repaint all the walls, uh, floorboards, flooring replacement perhaps. Essentially, anything that's high impact. That tend to be worn down more so with tenants than owners. Because again, going back to number one, they have no interest in the property. So that's number four. Number five, hire a real estate agent that has experience in handling tenanted properties. Me, for example. You need to know that your realtor, whoever you choose, knows exactly what they're doing. This needs to be done so you can minimize your risk exposure because there are so many complicated legislations that you need to know how to navigate, essentially. 
okay? So that's it, five main focus that you need to keep in mind when you're selling your tenanted property. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions regarding the market or selling your investment property, reach out, I'd be happy to chat. See you next month.